How are we doing, folks? Here we are. We're uh, still doing this challenge. Yep. The old Renegade is now in away in bottom still, the SU-100. The Tier 6 Russian TD. It's not a bad beastie. But uh, <laughs> we're on for despair. It's a supremacy battle. What have they got? Uh, looks like an ARL-44 and a Jack Panzer VK-28 VK-3001 It's either the P or the D, I can't even make that out um, The BDR, that one We've got a wee Leo and... What the hell's that at the bottom? What the hell's that at the bottom? Panzer 3-4 is it? Didn't see many of them, it's a Panzer 3-4 I think oh, Thanks. Who the hell was that? T1. Another camo list. Right, there's the ARL. I knew he was there, but the BDR's sitting over there as well. Bugger's got one into me. But we'll cap C. And we'll play dodgy back and forward to this ARL. Oh, there's the Leo for your side coming in. Right. Well, as you can see, the only way I can see these tanks is by checking the mini map. And any damage that's showing up on them once I can see the tank. That's the BDR out the road. What's that over there? VK-301B. That's what they are. It's a P version. And as you can see, when I'm not looking at it, it disappears. There's no silhouettes, no damage markers or anything like that. It all disappears. Now, see the ARL over there? It's coming back only when I'm sighting them. Will the red silhouette appear? So, as I've said before in other videos, it's like playing realistic mode, but the only extra is that you get the mini map markers icons and you get the damaged icons above them, which, yeah, if they weren't there, what's that? Uh, I, yeah, it is. It's a Panzer 3 4. Wow. You don't see a lot of those. You don't see a lot of those at all. It's a wee Leo away over in the, the middle parapet area there, the broken wall bit. But that 30 one is round this corner. There he is. Thank you. Right, what have we got left? The Panzer 3 4 and the Leopard. Hmm. Leopard's a nippy work then, is it? 3 4 there. Critical damage into the hits. Remember, critical damage and module damage always helps get your XP up, as I stated in my latest video there. The module damage and crew damage. The more damage you can cause, not just hitting the tank, but crew damage and module damage will kill it off. Yeah. Thanks for that, 28. I could have had him, no problem. That just leaves me the Leo. Me pop into the back one. 291 of them. And he's been hit before, so what's he got left? Hmm. How's he going? But back up into B here. 635-45. It's just me and him, but he's a nippy wee bugger, and this thing's slow. Uh, I've only got the gun rammer on it so far, equipment wise, and the crew are at 82%, I think. 83, something like that. Mm, bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Keep twisting, keep twisting. And if you're reversing back in this away from something to get a little bit of cover, keep wiggling and jiggling left and right and you get the better chance of bouncing from the front. Depending on what calibre of gun they're firing, of course. But the likes of the wee Leo is going to struggle if I keep just slightly twisting the, the armour. But that's B capped. We've stopped them getting any points. So we should climb up a little bit quicker. See what I mean about the thing, but just angle it and keep twisting. Another one in here, track damage, critical dart, he's repaired it. Should get a ram in him and kill him off. There's kill number four. <coughs> and that's what we're looking for. That M in this chase. 14 shots, 11 hits, 11 penetrations, 5 damage, 4 hit. Damage caused the player's resistance, zero. Mm-hmm. Right. Hmm. Interesting. 
interim arresting and that's where uh, stop unit has two damaged the commander and critical on the engine fuel tank critical on the tracks engine damage yeah ammo rack and critical on the tracks and critical on the leopard so that all adds up for the XP credits 21 and a half nearly 1531 XP and the top gun steel wall and a cool headed <laughs> right yeah that's the M number 66 bagged you hear that K <laughs> right let's have a look and I'll show you this I'll click on there there you go 83% crew and equipment it is yep just the gun rammer so far I haven't done any of that and I think it's seven balls eight balls let me have a look no, eight balls only a fifty percent I've won four lost four but that's eight battles with virtually a stock gun stock tank uh, only the one equipment fade and 83 percent crew so mm -hmm. 66 66 so far here we go into the next one then thanks for watching folks <laughs>